Um, so given given that kind of knowledge and, and thinking about our audience that are out there, the, the small to medium business owners, what's the balance, would you say, between creating a visually appealing website and helping them create one that actually converts? What's more important and, and what are some of the tricks that you've seen for creating a website that converts really well? So it's oftentimes going to be about what the business is. So if you go back to like the era of click funnels, you're going to see a lot of bad looking boxy websites that convert like crazy with like the red ribbons and stuff and, you know, buy now this and that. Um, and then you're going to, you know, going to have businesses like some, for example, um, holding investment holding company that you know, just focuses on acquiring other businesses that just needs to look professional. And I call those websites uh, like a fancy business card that website where if somebody looks you up, they want to make sure you're legit. Just recently, we had a project with a with a company that does um, commercial um, property maintenance. I'm not going to name the company, but the problem they had is they have contracts with some of the biggest companies in the U.S. and they don't have a website. And the problem is they're only like four or five states, and those companies want them to go to all 50 states, and they needed a website to be able to actually get people to work for them so they can scale. Because, you know, who would, you know, you go Indeed and the company doesn't have a website, it looks, you know, it doesn't look legit. So on that side of things, yeah, for them, conversion wasn't really important. It was more of that fancy business thing. If for, you know, more conversion-oriented websites, looks aren't as important, but I always say, why not have both? That's good. Like, and, and it's interesting to hear that you can find that balance because, you know, a lot, a lot of people believe it's one or the other and, and you've kind of got to go down. And most clients... I think in our head, before we come to a web design agency, we don't know what we want, like, but we know it needs to look beautiful. And there's never really, because we don't have yeah. that technical background. I mean, take just, you don't even know what to expect or what to, what to want or how much it's going to cost. Yeah. But I always say, if you want both, just look at apple.com, one of the most beautiful websites ever. And I'm sure it's, it, it does its job in converting. It's not just, you know course it's the whole marketing behind it, et cetera et cetera but uh, it's it's a very good example perfect so to come back to the the questions that i tend to ask every guest that comes on the show then marco what's one thing that you wish business owners out there would just stop doing with their marketing it could be you know anything from myths and frameworks that just don't work to tools and and anything that you can really put your finger on what's the thing that really gets you on your sort box oh it's I wouldn't, I wouldn't call out any specific method because they can all work. 